Walking along Hennessy Road in the very busy Causeway Bay in Hong Kong, a certain building with an eccentric look is for sure to catch your eyes. It seems to be assembled from three big building blocks, and there are several voids that punctuate the tower. If you take a closer look at the surface, some strange patterns have further differentiated it from other skyscrapers. The inside also has an interesting structure. If you have visited the building as an ordinary customer before, you might remember that there are some long escalators that help you skip floors and go to the levels 5, 9, and 12 directly. This might feel a bit confusing for some people. Since it's in Hong Kong, all of these unusual designs make many people suspect that this building is heavily influenced by feng shui and other supernatural elements. Is that true? Are the voids another dragon gate? Is the assemblage form imitating something auspicious? Why didn't the design follow the office tower sitting atop a commercial base convention? The building consists of three parts. Actually, the building only consists of two programs, which is office, the upper part of the project, as well as the retail, which is the lower part of the projects. The middle part was, for the longest time during the design phase, it was considered as a semi-retail component because uh, we are trying to think of it as a flex space, which can either be an extension of the retail from the bottom, or it can also be an extension of the office from the above. But towards the end of the design process, as we are seeing that the retail market is quite well, so uh, eventually, as what you are seeing today at the Heisen Place, this portion, which is like from the 8th floor to the 15th floor, is now designed as a retail component. The urban ventilation is a most critical part in terms of like sustainable design. And in the way that we are organizing the massing of the projects, we strategically created openings on the 4th floor as well as on the 7th floor of the podium. By creating this openings on the elevations, we are able to allow um, air to go through, uh, especially in summer where the, the air ventilation is more needed in a very highly dense neighborhood. Aside from the gardens, Heisen Place also has a rooftop farm. Here people can come to grow their own produce. Nowadays, this sort of urban farm is not that uncommon in Hong Kong. You can find it on many other buildings as well. However, before setting up the farm here, there's another effort people tend to neglect. Typically, on an office building like this, there are a lot of equipment. In order to replace that with a farm, the architect hid the machine several levels down, hence the black session near the top. Now, the office workers can go to the roof, enjoy the sunshine, and even cater to their own produce. Relocating the machine is not the only things that we need to do to achieve an urban farm. Additional ideas that we need to do is to allow the structures to be able to hold the soil and the rainwaters, and all this loading needs to be accounted for in the design of the urban farm. And in addition, we will need to integrate the rainwater recycle system as well as the irrigation system within the, the, the whole area in order to support the urban farm. Apart from the farm, working at Heisen Place has some other unique perks. Traditionally, an office window that opens up is actually create like a kind of irregular patterns on the elevations, meaning like you might have one unit that are open with the window and another pop out in another direction. So it, it creates kind of a little bit of chaos. So in Heisen Place, we specially developed a design that's allowed it to be like a vent system that is integrated to the horizontal elements of the facade. Um, so what you are seeing on the screen is just a grill that is uh, allowing air to be taken into the building. And inside the, the office space, uh, there is like a mechanism that allows you to press a button and then to allow that vent to be opened without actually creating all these like chaotic like opening windows uh, on the facade. In fact, such comfort even expands outside the office. If you are working in a traditional mall plus office building, it is quite often that you need to enter the mall, take a lift to the office lift, 
and then take that second lift up to the office part. However, if you work in Heisen Place, commuting will be much smoother for you. Whether you come from underground or above ground, you can just go straight up to the double deck lifts, ride it to a spacious sky lobby. There will be no need to go through any possible complicated mall floor that aims to retain customers and then make you walk farther. We went through several ideas in the Heisen Place. Um, all these ideas all points to the idea of flexibilities. Flexibility is very important as part of the sustainable concept. As you can imagine, like there is a future change in potential programs by having the middle zone as being a very flexible space for both office and the retail. With flexibilities, the building can adapt to the ever-changing environment in the futures and it allows the buildings to have a longer lifespan and to be able to anticipate all these changes.